Fazio back on the streets of New York City today, helping to paint a Black Lives Matter mural in Queens. Gun violence continues to plague the city, an issue New York Governor Andrew Cuomo calls devastating. Correspondent Alex Hogan has the very latest live for us from New York tonight. Good evening, Alex. Good evening, Shannon. Nonprofits are taking this into their own hands by sending members out into the community to develop relationships with their peers and understand what the tensions are at hand. And researchers say this is a way to prevent crime before it happens. We're tired. We're sick and tired and frustrated of guns going off. Right now, we're rivaling Chicago. Shootings in New York City climbing. There were 47 last week, a 176% increase from the same time last year. Year to date, shootings are up nearly 71%. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo calling it deeply disturbing and blaming a variety of factors, including anti police sentiment, early COVID release for inmates, and the struggling economy. The result is uh, intolerable and is devastating uh, and is long term as we're trying to get New York City back up and running. Amid the violence, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio funding alternative policing programs like violence interrupters. The shootings have to stop, but we got to take care of it. This is our blocks. This is our community. They're not officers, but locals trained to de-escalate situations before they turn deadly. There are 14 organizations in the city's most dangerous areas doing just that. It's not a miraculous cure. It doesn't solve all problems. But if you can prevent two or three shootings a year in a small area neighborhood, that program essentially pays for itself just in the savings from medical care and disruption to families and lost income and so forth. Some city council members are skeptical of the program, such as Bob Holden, a Democrat from Queens, who said, have you ever tried to approach a New Yorker who throws some litter out of their car? It escalates. Somebody's going to get shot in the head. These are gang members. So similar programs exist around the nation and experts say, of course, this will not prevent all shootings. But again, it is a preventative plan to help heal some of these communities. Shannon. All right, Alex Hogan, thank you so much.